Hey, welcome to Women of Denver. One of the major goals of our organization is to support women in the quest to achieve the goal of earning their worth. What that really means is women have been under earning for such a long time. So we're here to be a part of the change. As of this recording, women account for nearly 40% of small business ownership, but earn less than 5% of revenues. Career women still make a little more than 80 cents on the dollar compared to men. And less than 5% of Fortune 500 companies are led by women, which is a high profile example of the lack of women in high power, high paying roles. At Women of Denver, we believe women should earn their worth, not a portion of it, So we provide the tools to help you increase your income so you can have more resources to make an impact, the impact you want to have in the world. The Blueprint for Earning Your Worth is a quick and honest take on how you can approach your earnings and financial growth over time to start surpassing your expectations. I'm Crystal Covington, founder of Women of Denver, and I designed this blueprint based on hundreds of conversations with top earners and my own journey to building a six-figure executive career and a six-figure business. Not long ago, I was making less than $30,000 in salary. It's the blueprint I'm about to teach you that changed my life and helped me to more than triple that income in under four years. Blueprint number one, business acumen is the key to winning at money. I remember the first time I made friends with a big-time company exec. I'll refer to him as Ted, but that's not his real name. The normal tour guide was on maternity leave, so I was tasked with introducing Ted to the office when he arrived for his first day at the Fortune 500 I worked for. We hit it off, and he'd regularly come visit me to chat. What surprised me about talking with him is that rather than talk about the latest music, restaurants he's enjoying, or what he had for lunch, he'd go straight to business talking about things I barely knew about at that time. He'd say, I can't believe we dropped another point this week. The new government policies are killing us right now and people are speculating. And I'd respond with, yes, gosh darn that speculating hitting us hard. He'd say, Crystal, you get the sales data each day. Can you remind me if it was 60 or 63 million we hit yesterday? And I'd say, well, I think my email was down all day yesterday and I didn't read it. I'll have to look that up for you. You know I made that up, right? (laughs) Eventually, he found people to talk with that really did know what was happening with the stock price of the company and could remember where we're at with earnings. These people tended to be men in the sales department or other executives who were also men. Once I started prioritizing a daily review of the company's stats and updates, I began to rebuild that relationship and get pulled into conversations with higher level leaders, which helped me improve my reputation and increase prospects for upward movement in the company. The key lesson here is that talking the language of business is the most valuable thing you can do not only in the corporate world, but as an entrepreneur too. If you work for a company, you should treat the business like you're an owner, pouring over the latest financial reports and knowing what's happening in the public as well. This is what gets respect from executive leaders and this kind of behavior is what we call intrapreneurship. Intrapreneurs act like owners and take ownership of their role. As an entrepreneur, It's non-negotiable that you know these things about your business. At any given moment, you should know your revenue, have an estimation of expenses, and have a strategy for how you intend to grow your profits over time. If you aren't sure about these simple details, there's no way you can create actions that will help you make more income. If these things are hard for you, there's lots of free programs offered by local organizations that can help you increase your financial knowledge and literacy so you can make this a priority and fully understand things. Women of Denver provides a list of organizations like that so you can start to get this education and coaching. We also host regular events where we help to familiarize you with financial concepts and mindsets. Blueprint number two, earning your worth doesn't mean getting the same as men. There's a difference between equality and equity. Equality would mean that you begin earning the same dollar amount that a man in the same role makes starting today. 
I think equity would be demonstrated by getting paid back for all the years you didn't make that much, plus the interest you lost in opportunity cost when you could have been investing that income in wealth creating assets. As women, it's important that we avoid looking to men as the measure for our success and instead think about our salaries and rates in terms of the value we offer for our clients, customers, and employers. When pricing your work and making the ask, consider the budget your client or employer has available and put a price on the impact you'll make the company's bottom line. If it helps, you can use online salary calculators to understand the norms, but don't let that be your only deciding factor. I've seen both men and women get paid incredible amounts of money with less experience and qualifications than their counterparts. This isn't hearsay. I've actually seen the salary reports and talked with HR professionals about this matter. People are often paid based on what they ask for and seem to be worth, not based on any real calculation, especially in high demand roles with low competition and high value to the organization. I personally jumped $30,000 in annual pay from one job to the next when I first realized this. I had decided to challenge all the things I'd read about women not pursuing roles they aren't 100% qualified for and not asking for a high enough salary. I applied for several jobs and put six-figure requirements on the application for the salary expectation, which was far from what I was making at that time. I got several callbacks and accepted a job with a $30,000 pay jump. Salary.com said I was being overpaid and the company had actually budgeted for $10,000 less. But I got the salary bump because they wanted me on the job and I said it was what I required to join the firm. I don't mean to tell you to ask for exorbitant amounts of money, which might cause you to lose out on jobs or miss clients. I just mean that when you find the right opportunities where you can provide a strong value proposition worth paying lots of money for, be sure to ask for it. Don't settle for what's listed on salary.com or what you think a man in the same position might make. Blueprint number three. It sounds silly, but it's really about confidence. In the past, I've struggled to get people to show up for events on the topic of confidence because no one wants to admit to being underconfident. But oftentimes, especially as women, we struggle with feeling we're worth more money. That's the thing that often keeps us stuck with the same low-paying jobs and low-paying clients and holds us back from seeking bigger opportunities that could grow our wealth. To truly earn your worth, you need to believe that you intrinsically have value that can't be bought. You must recognize how incredibly talented and inspiring you are and believe that the solutions you provide through your work carry a hefty price tag because of it. Only then will you truly begin to earn your worth. As an entrepreneur, I initially had little confidence and had no idea what to charge. It was my side gig, so I made up a freelance rate based on a calculation of what I'd be paid if I worked overtime at my job, not based on the outcomes I earned my clients or even the going rate for the industry. As I progressed and eventually went full-time, my confidence grew because I knew I provided outcomes for my clients that far exceeded what others doing similar work were accomplishing. That's when I doubled my rate. Not all at once, but over a couple of months. I went up $15, and then when I saw that clients were willing to pay that, I did it again a month or two later. I also doubled my retainer rates and other packages I was offering. One additional note for business owners, Earning your worth doesn't always mean simply changing the price tag on your services or products. It might mean changing your business or products completely. To say it another way, it's important to always think about your business model and how you can increase revenue and profits, but also to consider if you're in the right business and serving the best niche to get the most out of your entrepreneurial efforts. Now that you know the blueprint, it's important to understand how women of Denver can support you in implementing these blueprints in your professional life. Review our on-demand training for tools you can implement to help you thrive in life and business. 
Join us for online and offline events where we provide tips and tools for success along with opportunities to build your personal confidence and believe in your value. Build relationships with other high achieving women in the network to support each other, share learnings and cheer each other on. The blueprint is the key to personal financial growth and transformation. And I can't wait to see how you implement these lessons into your life.